welcome to my channel if today is the first time you are coming across my video you are welcome please do well to like subscribe and share this video so today i'm going to be teaching you how to make this overlapping top but the easiest pattern like the easiest way to make an overlapping top very simple and straightforward so let's get into it so now we are going to fold this this is the edge of my material the only reason why you are saying that this and this is not equal is because the material is not equal so i'm trying to adjust it so yours should be equal so you just take it like this as you can see edge to edge you just fold it this material is silk material or duchess material depending on the name you call it in your location so you just fold it like this just fold it first then you bring this one here The reason for bringing this one here is you want to check if this is enough for her measurements, for your client's measurements, and which is the bust that we are considering. The bust of my client is 35, so I'm definitely looking for almost 9, because 35 divided by 4 will give me almost 8.5 and, and some quarter. So that is almost 9. Let's say I'm using 9. So then I have 2 inches left as my allowance. So this is totally perfect for me as I folded it like this. So I'll just rearrange everything to make sure that they are in order. So then I will cover it back just the same way I did earlier. I'm trying to get a straight line. So the next thing I'm going to do now is to measure the length of my top where exactly do i want my, my top to end and this particular style that i'm making is a crop top is a crop top so a crop top should not be more than 17 18 depending on your client so i'm going to be using 18 for this crop top but i'll add half inch to it or one inch depending on what you want so this is totally up to you so I will mark it. This is the length of my top. You can actually layer your client so you know where you want the top to reach in your client's body. So this is the length me I want. So I've cut it. So you cut it away. This is what you have. So the next thing you're going to do now is to measure the shoulder of your client. So the shoulder of my client is 16. That's 8, right? Because you divide your shoulder by 2 and not by 4. So that's 8 plus 8 is 16. So I mark my 8 just like this. Then from this upper part, I nail my armhole. I just take 8. I'm supposed to take 7 and a half because somebody, somebody that is using boss 35 is supposed to be 7 and a half. But I took 8 because I'm going to do shoulder slope here. So the next thing I'm going to do is just to take this line straight. Then I curve it for my armhole. I curve my armhole. You can use the procedure, whatever procedure you know, to get your arm hole. But me, I just do mine like this. So the next thing now is to measure the neck. The neck is a V-neck. So I want to use three and a half here. Because I don't want the neck to be too wide. Three and a half here, that's what I used. So I'm just going to just cut it away. Just to cut, just to know where my neck is. That's this. If you want to measure, it's one inch. You can use one inch from here, one inch. So now the next thing I'm going to do is to do my shoulder slope. I bring the shoulder down because I don't like the way the shoulder is up. It's not supposed to be like that. So now I bring my shoulder down. So I cut my arm hole. So now after cutting your arm hole, you measure your bust. This is what I want. It's okay. Then the last part, please. That's where you measure your waist. The last part. That's where you measure your waist. Don't measure it here. Just measure it at the last part. You will still be correct. Don't worry. So your waist is the waist of my client is thirty. So thirty will give me almost uh, that's almost eight. So I'll just take ten. I'll just do it like this, straight like this. So I'll just cut it up, just like this. This is what I have. So now this is the back. And this one that I folded, like this, is the front. 
so now how do i get my overlapping look at how this place looks just like this you can fold it like that if you're overlapping reach this place you can fold this one to reach this place but this is where i want my own to end so from here you may six six inches is really good for for a uh, v-neck for somebody that does not like the neck to be too wide so v and uh, six inches is really very perfect if your client does not want the overlapping to be too wide six inches is the best measurement so now i've cut it away so from this end where this thing end where this neck end just take it straight down and meet it up with the down part from where this neck end take it down straight like this so you cut it off so this is what i have so you notch this part so you know that okay that's the middle that's where the overlapping will end so now you are free this down part is something you must do there there's something very important that you must do at this down part so just take this side make sure you hold on to this point here this place that you notch hold on to it then drag this one outside like this drag it outside this one is not optional it's a must that's how you see overlapping they don't come out well because you don't do this so this one inch that i've removed even sometimes i remove one and a half depending on how covered i want the neck to be and how perfectly overlapped i want the neck to be so now you're going to cut it off that one that you put it you cut it off this is what i have at this moment so now i'm just, just going to open the clothes and see if my neck is in order it's in order but i will just kind of trim this one so that they will be equal because they are not equal so our overlap is already ready so it's remaining the sleeve so just take this like this usually if you fold it like this into two edges to edges this length is really enough for the sleeve no matter how big the person is this length is really enough so that's why you are going to fold like this fold it into two like this just like this depending on how big the hand is so according to the sleeve that we have for this dress it has something like this is how the shape looks so i'm just going to form the shape that i saw there this is how it will look so the only thing you're going to do is to layer from this beginning point layer five inches down five inches down then you connect it then you connect it just like this just like this then from here just take it straight this one you have here take it straight then take this one straight for the length let me check let me check if this length is okay i need about 27 okay it's okay for me the length is okay it's more than okay for me so this is it so i'm just going to cut it And from here, I'm just going to do this like this. And I'm just going to notch here. And this is the hand. I'm going to fold here and put elastic. This is the kind of hand that is there. So these ones are just going to be for the ropes to tie the top. Because this kind of top, you must tie it because an overlap top so just take this fold it like this you can decide to do it into two like this then you do it like this so anyone that works for you is fine so this is it this is the rope for the two sides to tie it to the back then i used to usually cut another rope for the neck With this same material I used to turn the neck. I don't use bias. So 
that's that's it that's all for that this is the back why this is the front so i'm just going to put it on top like this i've weaved the necessary part i weaved the shoulder here i didn't weave the armhole because i want to weave the sleeve after i've joined the sleeve i weave them together so now i'm just going to join the shoulder join the shoulder then sew my sleeve on it so now this is the sleeve i'm done sewing the sleeve and i've also weaved it so this is it this is one side zip and this is another sleeve so the round sleeve is nice so for this for the sake of this elastic that i'm going to be using for the sake of this elastic that i'm going to be using you can use the white one uh -huh, or the black one any color you have is fine depending on the color of your clothes so i might use white or black because black does not really show on this kind of material so now you put it instead of nine you're going to cut eight instead instead of nine you cut eight instead so that's it so you just put it around that's what i'm going to be doing now so now i'm done with the sleeve i've also hold the shape how do you hold the shape hold the shape from the back that's the correct way to hold the shape so when you turn the back just like this you just measure the bust you add one inch to it you mark it then you measure the waist you add one inch to it you just take it straight just straight like that that's all so now what i did was i whipped it down you can decide to fold it down once just like this or you fold it twice without weaving so any anyhow you want it is fine so this is the the main thing now of this tutorial how do i turn the neck please don't use bias to turn the neck don't use bias this is the main purpose of this tutorial so that it will look very fine use the same material to turn the neck so i'm just going to go now and sew this straight mat uh, material that you're seeing here this straight rope i'm going to sew it on the neck round so now the next thing to do now i'm done sewing it on the neck and i have top stitched it look at the top stitching i top stitched it to where the rope is and not where the neck of the clothes is please note it that's what i did so now as i'm done like this the next thing for me to do now is to bring it down like this and and fold it in then bring it down then i go on and sew it that's what i'm going to do to all the neck round when you get to the neck side this neck side make sure you follow the curve like this you curve it so that you enter let me go and do it so that you see so now i'm done with the neck with the hand and everything so this is it for for people that want to see the closer look, this is it. This is the folding. This is how you should fold it. Very pretty. So now the next thing I'm going to be doing now is to sew the rope on it. When I iron this, you will not recognize it again. So this is the rope. I cut when I was cutting earlier. So now I'm just going to take it. I'm going to open this side. That's the way I do it. So now this is what I mean. I'm just going to put place this here at the down part so that it will meet. I'm just going to sew it straight. Then I'll do it like this. When I do it like this, then I'll stitch this V like this. I'll stitch it V like this. That's what I'm going to do to the other side too. Then after i will just iron it so i'm just going to show you the final process when i'm done so you will see it thank you so much for watching if you have not subscribed please do where to subscribe click on the notification bell so that anytime i post amazing videos like this you will be the first to see it. like and share to your friends thank you so much for watching see you next time